Okay, so I'm Isak and so far uh, I've been working for KVM TDX, TDX support uh, for a while and uh, it's still ongoing work. Uh, but in this presentation, yeah, I don't talk uh, KVM TDX support itself, but uh, I'll talk about uh, related topics. Uh, so uh, in this uh, presentation, yeah, uh, first uh, I'd like to revise or uh, yeah, introduce uh, TDX technologies uh, briefly, and then yeah, talk about the problem, and then uh, to address, uh, and next uh, to address uh, that problem, uh, to review uh, technology details to address that problem. And lastly, yeah, uh, I'd like to show how to attack uh, or how to make a TDX module run without uh, any special uh, CPU features. And then, yeah, I'd like to conclude the presentation. So, uh, what is a TDX? Uh, TDX is a VM-based uh, TE technology, and it protects uh, user data uh, or user secret. Uh, Typically, in a cloud environment, user doesn't have a control of underlying hardware or underlying host OS or hypervisor. So in that case, yeah, uh, user still wants to protect uh, their data or secret. Uh, it can be health, your health data or it can be financial data. So it's quite important to protect uh, user data. And uh, yeah, TDX is a technology for that, and it is a best technology. And uh, unfortunately, uh, TDX is a quite complex uh, combination of the you know, components. Uh, but uh, in essentially, yeah, it is a combination of memory protection, and uh, which is a new CPU mode, and uh, TDX module, uh, which is a, a trusted software entity. Uh, runs, it is run the uh, new CPU mode uh, C. And at first, uh, I'd like to uh, show some basic of memory protection. Uh, basically, uh, uh, memory controller has its own encryption engine, and uh, it, has, uh, uh, it has a table of en 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 encryption key. And a uh, uh, higher bit of physical address is repurposed purpose to, uh, to show key ID. And then at the encryption engine, uh, it at the encryption engine, uh, it looks up uh, key ID from key ID to key, uh, real encryption key. And then uh, encryption engine encrypts or decrypts uh, its data, its memory. And also, uh, next one is uh, C, uh, secure arbitration mode, uh, which is a new, new CPU mode, and uh, it protects, uh, CPU state is protected and also its memory is free. And uh, it's parallel to uh, legacy DMX. Uh, it has a uh, root mode and it has a uh, non root mode. And, uh, and in SIM uh, VMX root mode, uh, it has a special small region, which is called SIM region, and uh, that region is uh, specially protected. And also for guest case, uh, both uh, guest pages are encrypted and with the uh, uh, And then, uh, in a SIM VMX root mode, uh, we have a uh, so trusted software entity, and which is called a TDX module, and it runs in a SIM VMX root mode, and uh, uh, it handles, uh, it directly manipulates uh, uh, protected guests and uh, it can submit uh, guest data uh, on behalf of uh, hypervisor. So that the yeah, hypervisor doesn't uh, touch uh, guest data. And uh, this uh, TDX module is a sort of a, a part of TCB, so it needs to be signed and verified. So uh, that's uh, in terms of the uh, problem. Uh, we Opened, uh, inter opened its source code for TDX module and uh, also uh, its loader uh, for, uh, for the auditing only. And uh, yeah, so we can, you can 
uh, build uh, the TDX module uh, from the source code, and you can verify uh, the build result that matches with the uh, real really distributed one. But uh, there is no way to sign it, so you cannot run the, your build uh, on the hardware. So uh, we have some complaints. Uh, we have a feedback uh, about this, this situation. So uh, as a software engineer, I'd like to mitigate this situation. And uh, the goal is uh, uh, the goal is yeah to make make it easy to exp experiment or uh, play with TDX module uh, with in some sense. So uh, at least uh, yeah without required specific features so that we don't need uh, signing process and so that you can you, you, you can play with a TDX module uh, you can. That's a goal. So I'd like to not, uh, I'd like to mitigate the current situation. So uh, to address uh, for that goal, uh, we need to understand uh, in detail how TDX module works. The uh, at first part is yeah, memory encryption and. Uh, one part is uh, yeah, memory encryption and the physical address is uh, slightly modified. And also another hardware, f newly introduced hardware feature is yeah, CKPT. Uh, now we have uh, uh, conven existing conventional EPT and uh, now we have yet another EPT, EPT which is called CKPT. And, uh, yeah, it is for a uh, protected guest memory region and also page table itself uh, also encrypted. So, uh, and for uh, and the guest physical address space is uh, split into two spaces uh, with uh, uh, one bit of uh, guest physical address which is called a uh, shared bit. And shared bit is on, uh, it is uh, existing conventional, conventional EPT is used and the shared bit is off, uh, it is considered private, and the secure EPT is used. So, uh, so uh, and, uh, and uh, guest, guest uh, page uh, with the private guest physical address is pro also protected. So uh, next step is uh, to understand uh, CPU mode uh, scene. And uh, yeah, uh, actually, yeah, we a new uh, two instructions is uh, introduced uh, to switch back and forth uh, CPU mode. Uh, SIM core is a switch from uh, legacy uh, VM, VMX mode to a new SIM, uh, secure arbitration mode. And uh, uh, SIM red is the uh, opposite, uh, to go back from uh, SIM to the uh, legacy VMX mode. And uh, uh, interesting point is, uh, yeah, CPU, uh, when uh, we go to SIM, uh, CPU saves uh, CPU state into its page, and then restores CPU state from, from uh, page. The page is called SIM VMC, SIM VMCS. A bit confusing, but uh, yeah, that's the terminology. And but uh, the difference is uh, when we go back from SIM to legacy VM, VMX mode, uh, only CPU state is restored. Uh, CPU state is not saved in a in a uh, CPU state of SIM is not restored uh, saved. So when uh, we uh, entered to uh, SIM mode, uh, the entry state, entry CPU state is al al almost always the same. Uh, this is a bit, uh, uh, this is an interesting point. And also CPU state includes uh, CR control registers and uh, GDT, IDT, and so on, so on. And the TDX module works on uh, its own virtual address space. Okay, so, and also, uh, yeah, TDX module runs in a SIM region, a uh, special protected area. So, 
uh, special loading process is needed. So, uh, and also those process needs to be measured. So, a bit, there is a bit complex procedure. Uh, we have two dedicated loader, uh, which is called PCM loader and NPC, NPCM loader. And then uh, finally, yeah, TDX module is uh, copied into the uh, SIM region. And the uh, interesting point is uh, SIM loader, uh, PCM loader sets up uh, initial CPU state for TDX module. TDX module doesn't set up uh, initial CPU state itself. So its loader has to set up uh, initial CPU registers CPU register values, and also it has to set up uh, page tables for TDX module. So uh, there is a dependency here. And also, uh, how I'd like to discuss about uh, characteristic of a TDX module. Uh, it's, yeah, no, uh, it's, run, it's run on its own virtual address space. And also, yeah, it's a peak and uh, uh, it supports uh, other space layer to randomization. And also, interesting point is, yeah, it doesn't install IDT. Uh, it sets a null IDT. And uh, also, it runs with interruption masked. So, uh, it doesn't expect uh, exception happen, interrupt happen. So, that's an interesting point. And, uh, Actually, yeah, yes, interrupt uh, CPU TDX module is uh, written so that uh, no, exception, no exception happens. And also interrupt mask, interrupt mask, and uh, by uh, microcode, NMI doesn't happen. But uh, uh, one exception is yeah, machine check exception. If machine check exception happens, uh, the TDX module is uh, marked as uh, shut down and uh, CPU go back to legacy BMX mode. And uh, later that, uh, future SIM core instruction will fail. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, TDX module is sort of uh, shut down. So future, so if, yeah, machine check happens during TDX module is running, yeah, it's sort of failure, serial, serious failure. So it refuses to, uh, further execution. Okay, you know, just uh, the case show, yeah, it's on other space layout, and yeah, it has virtual address space layout, and also it has physical address layout. Okay, so uh, given that, yeah, uh, I'd like to discuss about how, can, how we can make TDX module without a special CPU feature. But yeah, uh, one yeah, big requirement is yeah, we don't use yeah, new CPU features. Uh, we want only uh, CPU features wi uh, widely available in the market already. And also, I'd like to keep basic design of TDX module and its functionality. Yeah, the goal is yeah, to keep its design and Redesigning of TDX module is totally out of scope. Yeah, that's totally different story. And also, I'd like to keep TDX module independent. Uh, TDX module and its loader has its own licenses. So if uh, yeah, they are mixed with other software like Linux kernel or KB module, yeah, it it, it it yeah, it will be a trouble. So yeah, it's quite important to make it independent. So uh, the trade-off is yeah, uh, trade-off is yeah, possible trade-off is yeah, source code modification is uh, acceptable. Yeah, it can be modification to TDX module or host kernel or KVM module or guest kernel or QM or something. And uh, yeah, I don't and also yeah, uh, Facebook behavior is abundant. Just mostly say similar behavior is okay. Just corner, there, are, there are corner cases like mass check or NMI, NMI case. Yeah, uh, right now, for now, yeah, just ignore such cases. So NMI, with NMI, uh, so probably NMI watchdog timer won't be used, but for now, 
it, it's okay. Uh, uh, for now, yeah, it's ignored. So yeah, uh, there are several design points, but uh, yeah, uh, basically yeah, we ha I have already discussed about yeah uh, in detail. And uh, one point is yeah how to load a TDX module, and uh, actually yeah it's a very complex process to do that. But for to run TDX module yeah we don't need it. Uh, just we can ignore security aspect of it. So just uh, yeah we can copy. Uh, TDX module image to some uh, uh, cont physically contiguous range, and then yeah, we can build a uh, page table for it, and then uh, set up initial CPU state. Just the uh, uh, choice is yeah, we implement the loader and uh, ignore existing TDX module loader. Next one is yeah, uh, biggest one is yeah, how to emulate uh, mode switch. Uh, switching from legacy BMX mode to SIM or, or SIM from, from SIM to legacy BMX mode. And uh, yeah, there are several options to it. Yeah, one trivial way is yeah, to, em to use nested virtualization. Just uh, uh, emulate uh, SIM call and simulate instruction by the L0 hypervisor somehow. And uh, yeah, and probably for this for, for this goal, yeah, probably this is a, a troublesome or this is not convenient. So next option is to do without uh, nested virtualization. And one po one option is yeah to hook uh, undefined exception and emulate somehow. And uh, another part another option is yeah uh, modify at source code level. And uh, to, re to replace uh, instructions by uh, some, some uh, instructions uh, to save CPU, jump and save CPU state and restore new CPU state and, uh, and so on. So currently our choice is yeah, uh, to rewrite uh, TDX module code and also on KVM side, uh, replace SIM core instruction by jump. So that's the current situation, but current choice, but uh, it's totally up to feedback. Right now, yeah, I think, yeah, uh, that third option is convenient or useful, but uh, yeah, it, 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 in fact, yeah, it, it's up to actual, actual feedback. So uh, the reason, yeah, so reason is, yeah, uh, Modifying source code level uh, would be convenient and uh, probably yeah, straightforward at this point. And so memory encryption. Uh, in short, yeah, I abandon memory protection totally. Uh, the goal is to more to uh, to emulate fun uh, sim functionality. So. Security aspect is totally ignored. And also EPT case, uh, EPT case, uh, yeah, uh, CPU, new CPU ha feature has uh, two EPTs. Uh, but fortunately, uh, GPA is split into two. two. So a uh, single EPT can accommodate a uh, shared guest physical address and also private physical, guest physical address. So uh, it can be easily uh, emulated. And the decision is to make, to modify KVM MME code and also uh, KVM MME code. And also to modify TDX module. Yeah, uh, it can't, uh, TDX module, uh, to make uh, TDX module to manipulate on the uh, legacy existing conventional EPT. And last one, uh, next one is a, a bit uh, different topic. Uh, also, TDX, TDX also supports attestation. So uh, there is a, a new instruct, yet another new instruction of which is called SIMOPS. And right now it is used to get a TDX report for 
uh, TDX attestation, and the uh, uh, current decision is, yeah, don't support attestation, just ignore this instruction. And also, yeah, uh, another guest side is, yeah, TDBM call. Uh, guest, sometimes guest uh, can call uh, TDX module for, for its service. Uh, and uh, it has uh, its own, uh, its own instruction. Uh, but uh, it can be easily replaced with uh, uh, existing conventional VMX hypercall and then yeah, uh, assign its uh, new KVM hypercall leaf number. Just, and then yeah, we can easily uh, emulate it. So the conclusion is to modify guest kind of code. So uh, uh, the conclusion is uh, yeah, TDX module can run uh, without uh, special CPU features, uh, but uh, yeah, we do some uh, we do uh, security aspect. But uh, yeah, and also it requires some source code modification. Uh, we need to modify KVM host KVM and the TDX module and guest guest kind of code. And uh, uh, really uh, for this direction, yeah, really uh, your feedback is very welcome and uh, yeah right now yeah i'm just uh, guessing what what choice is uh, convenient for actual users and uh, yeah it really your feedback really matters and uh, yeah i'd like to change yeah what mitigate the current situation okay thank you for attending so i can take uh, questions or comments uh, hi. Uh, yep. How much of this are you going to try and upstream versus the carry on tree for people to use? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I, like, if, if you're just carrying on tree, I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For now, no plan for upstream at this point, but uh, yeah, yes, but uh, yeah, yeah, it really depends on your feedback. So yeah, if you have a strong opinion, yeah, please, please feed one. Any other questions, comments? Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you for listening.